We often hear people talk in the business world about improving their margins, and in this video we're going to talk about one of those margins, something called the gross margin. So I'm going to start with an example to illustrate what gross margin is. So let's say in this example you decide to start a lemonade stand. So with your lemonade stand, it's quite simple. You're going to purchase lemonade. You're going to make the lemonade yourself and then you're going to sell the lemonade. Purchase lemonade, sell lemonade. I think we've all done this at some point. So when we sell the lemonade we are going to end up with sales. So let's say our sales are a hundred dollars at the end of the day. That's a respectable take for for our uh, our lemonade stand. So, but we have to think about, well, what did it cost us to actually purchase this lemonade? This lemonade wasn't free. We had to buy the packets and the, the sugar and so forth. So that's all something we're going to call cost of goods sold, which I'm just going to abbreviate as COGS, cost of goods sold. So that's what it cost us to actually purchase the materials to make the lemonade. And we're going to assume our labor is free here because it's we're making the lemonade ourselves so that we don't have to worry about that for right now. So sales minus the cost of goods sold, which let's say it was $30. That's the cost to purchase the lemonade. And then we've got $100 worth of lemonade that we sold. This is the money we took in at the end of the day from our, our lemonade stand. And this is what it costs us to buy the lemonade. So when we take the difference here, the difference is going to be what we call the gross margin. That's our gross margin right there. So gross margin is defined as sales or revenue, whatever you'd like to call it. Sales minus the cost of goods sold is the gross margin. 